going to serious cleanse this next few days. That could be a message for somebody here. Time for a serious detox. It's going to take a lot of discipline. Keep it clear. Hold on. Clear, 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 clear. Keep it clear, please. Keep it clear. So it's going to take a lot of uh, discipline. Like, I was, I'm just getting the messages for, like, what I'm hearing from me and then spirits, like, just tell everybody else. And it's, I named it Say Hi to Them because I was just at the doctor's. Um, I got all my stuff checked for the breast reduction surgery and everything is perfecto, mucho bello. Thank God. I mean, I knew that, but just in case, like, you know, I wanted, they wanted to check everything. So, um... I uh, walked in there, there was this guy who was like doing my, um, I got a headache from getting my blood drawn, there was this guy in there who came in first, very handsome young man, very handsome, tall, black dude, sexy, I was like, damn, alright, and um, then this other guy came in, and he was like the one who was doing the questions and all that stuff, and he was like, oh, I'm going to be there like with the anesthesiologist and stuff, and he was talking to me, Um the whole time, my heart, my chest was hurting so bad. It was like my fucking chest. Ouch, ouch, ouch. And then finally, I just heard, tell him, tell him, tell him his dad's here. Tell him his dad's here. So I was like, can I ask you a question? It's going to be weird. Because in the medical field, I noticed, like, when I tell people stuff about, like, spirit, they kind of look at me like, all right. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, I just want to ask you something. I was like, I'm sorry. It's going to be a little awkward and weird. But um, do you have a dad who passed away of a heart attack? And he was like. Like, he stopped everything. He was like, what the? What? He's like, that. how did you know that? I'm like, yeah. And he was like, I was 18 when it happened. But, yeah. He was like, he's like, I don't know how you knew that. But I was like, I, I was coming in here. My heart was hurting the whole time. And I know it was not me because there's nothing wrong with my heart. So he kept, like, pressuring my heart, like, touching it and trying to tell me, like, tell him his dad, heart attack, dad, heart attack. He'll know it's me. And I said that to him, and he couldn't believe it. Anyway, the point is, I was like, he wants you to know, like, he's around you. He's really around you. He watches over you. He loves you, and he's guiding you, right? And, um, yeah, and the guy was like, he was like, I, he's like, honestly, I would never expect to hear something like that. He's like, you don't understand. You just did, like, a, a big thing for me, like that, just saying that to me. And then he was leaving the room, and he goes, yeah, I just want to say thank you for that. And I said, before you leave, though, I was like, just say hi to him what, every once in a while. Hey, Dad, how you doing? Um you know, talk to him, because he's, he's listening to you, and he wants you to know he's listening to you, he's got you, um, and he, he's listening to you, and you, you can hear him too, sometimes you hear him telling you stuff, like nice, cute, sweet things, and you're like, oh, son, I got you, but you're like questioning it, that it's him, and he was like, wow, he was like, he goes, he just goes, thank you, and he walks out, and it was nice, you know, it was a nice thing to, to happen, and the thing was, the message that I was getting, especially right now, because spirit is really, they just want us to, like, communicate with them more. Like, just, hey, mom, hey, dad, how gra hi, grandma, how are you? I hope you're doing well. I hope everything's fine, you know, because they're they're really with us right now, especially right now, so many changes. I'm sorry, guys. The, you know how it goes. So many changes are coming for you right now, and there's just going to be so so, like, for some of you, they're going to be, like, the changes are going to get you, like, what the, f what is happening, like, it's going to come out of nowhere for, for some of you guys, a lot of you, and, uh, Spirit wants you to know, like, they got your back right now, like, they're with you heavily right now, and also, definitely a detox is necessary for the next week or so, if you guys do some detox clients, I know, personally, me, I would left that office and, like, something told me, like, you got to start, you got to detox this week, like, I want to try to fast for, like, three days and see if I can make that happen. Um, is, if you've been feeling headaches since the full moon or before the full moon, because I, I know for me personally, I still have this, like, headache on my left side. But also, I just got my blood drawn, so that could be another reason why. But it's like this headache is like, you know, I'm hearing. It's actually happening because you're clearing a lot, especially in the crown chakra. There's a lot of clearing. I'm just gonna say this to you, like if you're seeing if you're seeing this now or later, there's a big change coming for you. Massive changes. You're gonna oof, you're not gonna believe it. I'm here. You're just gonna wow, I'm getting hit in my head so hard right now. Like my somebody's hitting me so hard right now. They're like, you're not gonna believe it. You're not gonna believe it. Like you here's the thing, you thought it was gonna be like this little tiny like thing that's happening. No, it's big. It's what's happening 
for you, the next is big. It's It could feel like, at first it could be like a little chaotic, but I don't feel like it's chaotic in a bad way. It's like, um, oh my God, like I gotta go now, I gotta do it now, like almost something like that, where you're gonna feel like you have to like get it done now. And it's like spirit's gonna take you. They're definitely listening to you heavily right now. They got your, they're listening to you heavily right now. They're watching you at very closely right now because of what you're, because of the changes you're going through. Because of the big changes you're going through. And they, they want you to just talk to them. Just, hey, hey mom, you know, hey grandma. Hey, Unc. I'm hearing, hey, Unc. Uh, what up, cuz? I'm hearing that. Somebody's sister I'm also hearing about a sister. I keep hearing Gemini and June. June and Gemini. It's October 25th, I'm hearing. September 29th. Something's going to come through September 29th. For some of you, it's next year. For some of you, it's this year. It doesn't, depends on where you're at. Uh, yeah, it's very important. Okay, so last night, I don't know if you guys noticed, like, in the spirit world, like, uh, I just got this headache on my left side. Ha. Uh, if you noticed last night in the spirit world, there was a lot of um, past people trying to come and like see you one more time type of thing like we're like no we, we don't want to see you no more like we're not trying to see you anymore and I'm just this is tech type one of the strongest like negative energy clearer so it's just I'm just clear wow that shit worked so fast bro that she just took my headache away in two seconds like, um this is like people that are bro they were trying to come back and see your dreams and try to be like please come talk to me like one last time I mean one last time no there is no last time. That's it. We're done here. That's it. And that's what spirit shows you. If you had any significant dreams last night, this is a confirmation for you. I see number 55 right there, you guys. On the way here, I kept asking spirit to confirm for me that this is going to be a smooth, easygoing procedure. It's going to go perfectly. And they did everything. The girl at the front desk who took my information, she was like, when's your birthday? I was like, September 1st. Uh, whatever. And she's like, oh my God, that's my birthday. I was like, thank you. That's all I needed. And then having the guy's dad come through and confirming that and just, it all was working out like pretty perfectly. Look how fast Tektite works. Tektite is like, for me, oh man, one of my favorites. I love it. I love it. it you have, I'm, I'm going to invest myself in a big Tektite thing. It's probably going to be like a thousand dollars, but I'll, I'll get that one of these days. I'll take that money and invest it into that. I gotta say though, guys, I swear to you, I swear, I feel so much beautiful peace coming in for you. Wow, thank you. I feel somebody's doing Reiki on me right now. Who are you? Who just did that? Who just said, I hope Flo's headache goes away? Did, it, did one of you guys just say that? Or I, I can't read the comments too well, so I don't know what you're asking, but I can't tell. You have to write the comment below. I don't know if one of you guys just said, please take, take her headache away, or somebody just said... I hope her headache goes away or something. You, you wished good upon me just now, I'm hearing. Somebody wished good on me. Thank you. It worked. Thank you. It worked, you guys. You see, I hear things. Man, I hear it. You know? Yeah, I know. Because I like I just heard Spirit say they're wishing that, that you feel better. Like, whatever it is. Feel better. Feel better, somebody said. Yeah, so this is going to be such a nice time. Another thing, though, here's the thing. Your confidence. Building your confidence. Yeah, listen, I, I, and I'm going to be real with you guys. I'm just going to keep it a buck with you. I have a low, very low self-esteem when it comes to my body image. I don't like my body at all. I never really did. I never, it's not something I'm saying, look, poor me. I don't like my body. No, it's just something I've always struggled with my whole, like this whole lifetime. And I have to like, I'm working on that. And yeah, I do want to do, like, I want the breast reduction surgery because I want to feel lighter and freer, you know, and then I want to work out and I want to walk and I want to you know, lift weights maybe and get my shit in shape and, and in order. But I found it very difficult to do that while my breasts were this heavy because even the doctor just now, when he came to hold my boobs in his hand, he was like, listen, I've done a lot of breast reduction surgeries. I'm not kidding you. He goes, your breasts are heavy. I was like, you think? He was like, no, because I usually like, fine, the women's breasts will feel a little weight in them. He's like, but yours are heavy. Like, they're just full of fat, like full of the 
you know, full of the, it's not like a, a long, large, empty breast. It's big, full, big breast. So it's like a big ass, like he's like, you're carrying two fucking medium sized watermelons around all day. I was like, yes, I know. I'm in pain 24 seven. My neck, my back, my pussy, and my crack. All the time. And he started laughing. <laughs> I told him, I literally said that to him. Because I'm an idiot. But I made him laugh. But, you know, so this is the time. Like, I feel like another thing is, like, getting that self-body image under control, too. Like, you know, listen to me. Like, I'm going to work out. I'm going to do this shit. Like, I'll just tell you right now. If my stomach don't look the way I want it to, I might just get liposuction. The light, you know, the air sculpt or something light. Like, not, like, deep, heavy shit. I'm just going to get, like, a, a light cleaning of my lower abdomen fat and stuff like that just so I can, yeah, cool, you're so cool, guy, yeah, Fucking asshole, um, you know what I'm saying, I don't give a fuck, because I want to look nice, I don't feel ladylike, you guys don't, I, I don't really just don't feel attractive, and I'm, I'm talking about this, because maybe some of you are feeling the same way lately, like, that shit has to stop, like, I don't, I feel like I want to just enjoy my body for once in my life, I feel like my whole life has been a struggle, even when I was skinny, I felt like I was, like, I always had, like, very manly, like, features, like, big arms and, like, muscular hands, and it's tough, you know, but it is what it is. I know, I know I'm beautiful, I think I'm beautiful, but when I look in the mirror sometimes, I'm just like, you know what I'm saying, you ever just look in the mirror, you're like, oh, even when I look nice, I can't. I don't know why. It's just something I have to work on. I think that's one of my fa- my my things. It's, I'm, it doesn't make me insecure. Like, if I'm dating someone, I'm never insecure. Like, oh, he's looking at another girl. I've never been insecure no matter what because I feel like if a person's going to look at someone else, they're going to look at them. So what? There's always going to be a girl with a better body or a guy with a bigger dick than you. So whatever. It is what it is, you know? But, yeah. All right. I just want to give you guys the rest of this message and go because I want to get home. I've been up since 5, 5 a.m., driving to all the way to Westchester, New York, from upstate New York. It took me about an hour and 40 minutes. I'll be home in, like, 33. Look at that. I'll be home in 33 minutes. How you like them schnapples? I'm seeing 16881 right here. So if you're feeling like right now you need to work on your self-confidence... Lightening up a little bit, chilling out, literally light body, like the, the light body. Like I just feel like I'm gonna have such a light body when I'm done with the surgery. Like it's gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna get up from the table, like, and I'm gonna walk, and I'm like, oh my god, I can stand up straight. Oh my god, I can breathe better. Oh my god, oh my god, like, and I won't feel so like so heavy. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, it's my fault too. I should have lost a lot of weight and should have worked on that really hard, but. I lost 17 pounds. I could, I got to go lose another 20 or 30 pounds. I have to. I have to, another 25 pounds at least. Because the funny thing is about everybody else, like when everybody else is like 160, they look 160. When I'm 160, the doctors be thinking I'm like fucking 140. And I remember I was 160, 170 at one point and I got on the scale and he, the lady was like, she was like, how are you 170? I was like, I don't know. She was like, where's the 170? Like, literally, she couldn't believe it. She could not believe it. And I was like, so why? When doctors say you don't have big bones, they're lying. Because how do I weigh so much? She's like, yeah, your body's very dense. It's heavy. She was like, you have a, you know, structure that's very strong. That's a good thing. I was like, yeah, but it also, like, makes me feel a lot heavier than I really am. And it really has always my whole life. And, yes, there is bigger bones than people. They say that there's no such thing. But that's a lie. That's a lie. Anyway... It's not going to work here because I'm by the Palisades Parkway. A lot of trees here, but I wanted to tell you guys that. Big changes. We see 55 again right there. Again. Change that's coming that's good for you, but try not to be upset at the moment, too. If you're getting ready for change, don't be like, well, this sucks right now. And I know because I do that, too, sometimes. But try to see it like more like relaxed and like good things are coming it's on its way to you you got this everything's gonna be okay so focus on the good okay i love you i love you i will see you guys later okay yeah exactly i'm five six i'm five six too though
I'm, I'm almost I'm five six and a half actually. If you really want to, I'm five six and a half, and I also have, you know, Albanian bones. Albanians are like fucking, fucking retards. <laughs> like a retard strength, bro. I swear to God. Anyway, I love you guys. I'll see you later, okay? Love and light to you. Big change is coming. I love you. Thank you for all of us. Big changes, big beautiful things are coming for all of us. I see you later, okay? Five seven. I love you. I'll see you guys soon. Bye guys.